with. I thought you boys got the memo, who been killing it? We keep it real, even if we ain't feeling it. It's Kim 3, wrap it up, put a seal on it. Everything I rap about really happened. I need a copyright, it gon' put a stamp on it. My ex would always ask for handles, that she ain't never get. I might as well stick with four. I'm Kenny from the show Unknown of WSP, and uh, for people who don't know you, could you introduce yourself and tell us something about you? Uh, my name is Jarrell Young. Um, I'm an MC. I'm an artist uh, based out of Central Illinois, two hours south of Chicago, Champaign, Illinois. And um, I've been making music going on, let's see here, like seven, seven years. Wow. So, yeah. Where we at? Where we at? I'm so gone. I'm so gone. Where we at? Where we at? I'm so thought. I'm so thought. She don't really want to go home alone. She don't really want to go home alone. Step in my tree house. Turning nothing into something. Turning nothing into something. Turning nothing into something. Did you like uh, spot some kind of evolution or like did you evolve in certain ways? I had actually, um, I had three mixtapes called uh, the Chemical Imbalance series and um, it just basically talked about my progression through life, you know what I'm saying, and how, how I see things through my lens and the vision that I have going forward with my music endeavor. So it's just, you know, coming from this small town, trying to reach the masses, this is, uh, you know, that's just basically where I'm trying to go with it. And hopefully somebody, you know, somebody catches it soon, you know. To hear, hear your voice, like, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I double dare you all to step it up. Don't be afraid of negativity. We seen it coming for a minute now. My squad replaces an open invitation. Come as you are an open invitation. Speak up right now, it's open invitation. How did you get to rap? Uh, it started off with me being born and raised in the church. You know what I'm saying? Um, singing, singing in the choir. Um, it translated into, transitioned into, um, like school plays and, um, being in like the show choir and things like that. And as I got in college, that's when like rap music really, really, really like took a serious, I took a serious liking to it. Cause like I said, being born and raised in the church, we, um, my household, my mom and dad, they didn't really let us listen to rap music. Um, and if we did, it had to be like the edited version from like Walmart, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? But um, being around like my uncles, especially like on my dad's side of the family, it's 10 of them, seven boys and three girls. So being around my uncles and my older cousins, I was able to tap into the rap music and stuff like that. And that's when the Biggie and the Nas got introduced. And then as I got a little older, I, I got to really start diving into it, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm away from home and as I'm in college, I'm starting to experience things and and I'm listening to different different music all the way across the board. I just took a real real serious liking to rap music, man. Um, I, just, I, I feel like it's the best way I can express myself, honestly. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, man, um, it really really kicked off for me when I got to when I got to college. So around like 18, 19, 20 is when I really really was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I hit the scene with too much swagger My chick way better That booty fat, no, if I want it, I can have her Used to be a dancer Zodiac is cancer That white girl's how I met her I hit the scene with too much swag Counting money is a habit Nothing else really matter We trying to stack up all the cash And lay up with an actress But right now this is practice if there's like a world famous artist you would want to collaborate with, like number one, who would that be? There was an artist you would like. Doesn't doesn't matter like the genre or whatever. Nope. Whoever. Dead or alive. Yep. It's gotta be Bob Marley, man. <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of my my biggest, if not the biggest, influence on me musically. Um, deeply rooted in, in, in a lot of his music. My, uh, my dad used to play him, still plays him to this day. But that was like one of the first things I heard growing up, you know what I'm saying? So, and um, 
as I got older, I really got to tap into what he was doing and did some research on him. Because, you know, when you're young, you don't really understand and you don't really know. But uh, as I got older, man, I really tapped into Bob. Bob, definitely. And if it was have to be it would have to be somebody else after that. It'd be like Prince or something, man. I like a lot of legends, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of legendary artists. Yeah, know? yeah. What inspires your music? Life, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Life, you know, um, life inspires me. Just everyday conversations with people. Um, waking up, getting to see another day. And just trying to better yourself each day, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, my, my, my whole thing is about progression. It's just doing better, challenging yourself to the maximum in any, any you know, shape, form, or fashion. Whichever way it comes, I just want to uh, just take it to another level, man. And I, I just love life, you know what I'm saying? I love interacting with people. Um, I love my music, uh, family, church. I'm um, very spiritual individual, man, so... I just feel like, you know, I have a purpose, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I have a true purpose and that uh, I'm here for a reason. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I yeah. feel you. Big time, big time. <laughs> what you sipping on, what you sipping on, what you sipping on, what you sipping on. I got that Henny in my cup, we gon' renounce you double up. What kind of projects are you working on? Are you planning to release like a new single or album anytime soon? Um, actually, I just dropped three singles this year. Um, One Night, Practice, and The Come Up. Those are three new records I just dropped. Um, I shot a visual to One Night already. I'm going to be shooting a video to Practice soon and then follow up with The Come Up. Right now, I'm just dropping singles until um, the buzz really, really, really starts to develop a lot more until the people are demanding an album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of chess, not checkers, man. And I, I got a lot of music. If you go to my SoundCloud, like I said, I got three three mixtapes out. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I have a couple projects already available for people to listen to. I have just random singles just sitting out on the table. Um, but until it, it really, really, really builds and it's really making noise, and I'm talking about talking about the buzz, then um, that's when that's when the uh, the debut album will be knocking on. I'll be riding through my town every when I'm down on the east side getting faded. I'll be everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I'll be everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I salute my twin cities to the fullest. I'm a rep all sides to the fullest. What up? Do you have any last words for your fans and future fans? Man, well, you know, it's, it's always amazing to have more fans, you know what I'm saying, future fans, you know what I mean, the ones that are established right now, it's cool, I appreciate the love and support, but for the future fans, man, um, give me a shot, give me a chance, I'm the most normal dude you'll ever meet in your life, man, I, 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 <laughs> I'm a normal dude, I work on 9 to 5, hopefully until I get on, um, I'm, I'm the most normal cat you'll ever, ever meet, man. Down to earth, chill, humble, and um, I just hope to inspire, motivate, um, and that can be a blessing and be be a, be a light that, that, that shines in somebody else's life, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to be all about positive energy, man, positive vibes. I just want to be a good person all the way across the board. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the world catches, catches, uh, catches that wave. Wow. Those are those are really great, great words. Thanks, <laughs> Quite stunning. <laughs> it was great talking to you. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. I know shorty wanna ride for a real one. It's a lot of sexy women I can choose from. I know she trying to catch a vibe with